All right, here's our second blues class. So we have different ways of stepping. Here's our normal blues step. And we have a tap step. We had a collect and move, collect and move, collect and move, collect and move. We had an in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. We had fishtails. And finally, we had our scoop. All of those, the movements coming from here. So once we're in closed position, I use this and my connection to tell my partner which one I want to do. Then we move on to open position. Remembering the follow needs to have a good frame, not be too loose, so that we can have connection here. That's how we walk around. Uh, and we did this move. Do that one more time. To show how we keep connection all the time in blues. Uh, then we started doing uh, some different swing moves, but bluesifying them. So we did just a nice turn, but kept the connection all the time. We want to keep the connection so that if I want to stop at any time, I can take control and stop any time in that move. Uh, and then what we did with that is started to experiment. So we could stop in a move and then change it up, change feet, and make something different happen that we expect that. Uh, other ways that we can play with that, we can, uh, the follow can make connections herself. So in the middle we're experimenting with a move, and the follow can make a connection, and as a lead I can use that connection in the move. So that's something that she can choose to do. Um, then we went on to uh, this move, it's a useful little move for, uh, that we're going to use to get into close embrace position. And here we just remembering that the follow has to tuck her arm up and over. And we're using this principle here that we can get the follow to take control of her own footwork by just leading her a little bit off of her balance. And she'll have to step, and I'm not telling her how to step, so she's going to do what she wants for just a moment there until I step and take control once again. And uh, finally, we talked about how uh, fast the follow follows. The follow can stay right with me when she follows all the time. She can be right next to me, or she could make it uh, a little bit slower so that when I lead, she's still going in the other direction. She's going this direction, she makes it a little bit difficult for me, and then follows. When I turn this way, she makes it a little bit difficult for me, and then follows. So that we have this overlap feeling. It's almost like I'm leading my follow through molasses or something. She's not coming quite as easily. And she has control over how uh, easily she wants to move. If she wants to stay right with me, she can. And if she wants to make it really, really slow, then that's uh, in her control. And that was our lesson for today.